I remember when I was 13 years old. I could not wait to grow older. Being an adult seemed so amazing. Growing taller, growing a full beard, and finally being able to buy all the games I desired. But suddenly my thinking switched. Birthdays are not special to me anymore. It's like meh. I survived one year more on this planet. And these days are also sadly a reminder that we don't have unlimited time left and that sooner or later we all face death. When I worked at an old age home, people's biggest fear although was not death, but to depend on others, being unable to walk, being unable to put on your own clothes. Trust me, sometimes the people would even openly say that they would rather die. Nowadays, billionaires like Bill Gates or Paul Allen are searching for a way to live forever. And there's even a method to freeze yourself, so you'll probably be revived by future generations. But I think the focus should rather be, not only in this video, but in life, to stay young as long as possible. It's hard to find something that has proved its effectiveness in the face of evolution. That is at least the only way I could explain myself why we still need to sleep. I mean, come on scientists, it's 2016. Anyway, what I'm saying is that over millions and millions of years, aging was beneficial to us. In the past, you lived just long enough to give away your genes. Make sure that your new DNA survives and then you decay. Your genome further improved along the way, but you were simply left behind. In the face of evolution, it doesn't matter how you as a person perform or exist at the age of 80, as long as your kid has the perfect genome. Think of your body as the CEO that is only trying to sell the company and profit. He doesn't plan for 20 years ahead. The only thing that matters is selling the company as fast and as lucrative as possible. This tactic is great when you are young, when your body is making sure that you are on the best level possible. But this tactic is really, really bad when you are old and are suddenly doomed to decay. This is called antagonistic pleiotropy. What is beneficial in young age can be detrimental later. But isn't there a way to stop or maybe slow down this process of aging? Yes, I think so. See, your body doesn't want to damage itself in the long run, but rather think of your body as overcautious. The crazy bastard that sees a spider and suddenly burns down the whole house. But our body has to act like this because our environment and even processes inside of our body are constantly trying to disrupt our DNA. For example, a cell in your body can only divide about 50 times because afterwards the potential for DNA damage would be too big. If a damaged cell keeps on dividing and dividing, it would lead to cancer. Therefore, your body balances risk and reward and decides to isolate the cell or even kill it altogether. This is great for not developing cancer, but this is bad later in life when you do not have enough healthy and functioning cells left. Genius body! So it's important to keep your cells healthy and dividing as long as possible. A great way to take care of your cells and reduce DNA damage is to manage stress. Manage stress not only in your office by taking a break and breathing slowly, but also with your nutrition. Make sure you eat a lot of antioxidants that are found in fruits and vegetables and are shown to reduce stress. Make sure you exercise every day on a low to moderate intensity, meaning go for a walk or a chalk for about 30 minutes. Make sure you stay healthy mentally. Do something you love every day. Smile more. Watch my videos, I could help you with that. These are all great ways to reduce stress and keep yourselves healthy 
as long as possible. But the only study I read about that was able to even reverse the aging process by lengthening your telomeres apparently was a plant-based diet. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your trust. I know that this video came late, so also thank you for your patience. And I just reached 100 subscribers. Thank you very much. It really means a lot to me. Now I have to stop saying thank you, otherwise I will turn Canadian. <laughs> My next video will be about genetics and muscle growth. So if you're new, maybe take one second out of your day to subscribe to this channel. I know that you're busy, but I know that I can help you improve your life. Also, let me know in the comments, what do you think about aging? Do you want to live forever? I'm tuned to see your answers. Have a great day.